I'm Tony Ruiz of, of Gold Derby here with uh, Rebecca Dion, who plays Elsa Peretti in the new Netflix miniseries, uh, Halston. And, and, and uh, Rebecca, you know, Elsa is such a, I think, is a figure that I think a lot of us didn't realize was actually so influential and made such a name for herself. Um, and so I, 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 uh, my first question is when you are tackling somebody like this, do you find it intimidating or do you find it exciting? It's a, it's a bit of both, obviously. It's intimidating because you want to, um, you want to make sure you do, you know, you give the, the real person, you do them justice. And also, you know, it's, it's a very, you know, big task to, to take on. And at the same time, it's really exciting because of all those things. And because, you know, we don't, women, female actresses don't get to play parts like this often. You don't, I don't, you don't see those roles um, that often. So of course it's exciting. And that kind of takes over however intimidating it can be. Uh, is, there, is there a specific facet of her that was the most that was the most important for you to get right mm, i think making her an you know an independent character you know obviously there's her relationship with halston and and all of that but having her making sure that she comes as a, a full person with her own um passions and her own agenda and all and things that she is interested in and, and all of that. I think that's, I, I think was um, one of the focus for me, for sure. She, she works so closely with Halston and is so kind of instrumental in his, in his rise, um, which of course then puts you and Ewan McGregor who plays Halston in such close uh, quarters with each other. What was that working relationship like? It was the best. <laughs> it was, it was really great. I mean, I think we, we became really close, I think, all, all of us, to be honest, but we, we became really close through the, through the whole filming. And, and I think there, there was a real relationship, friendship that developed. And so that was kind of, you know, I think it transpired a lot on, on, in the series that there is this real thing that is, that, that was between us. And so, you know, once that was there, you didn't really have to work about it uh, on it so much. And, and I think in part of that friendship also, you know, there's also that kind of that break that happens between them. Um, it, is, it, is, it is, you know, really a harrowing kind of, you know, the, I'm thinking of especially that fight at the beach house. Um, yes. Um, in those scenes, how much do you and Ewan talk about that before you do it? Or do you guys, did you both just like to be in the moment and do it? I think we didn't, there was, you know, we rehearsed obviously before the scene, um, but we were kind of more in the moment and just, you know, went for it. We, we shot that whole scene chronologically. And so there, there was the, the build up there. And um, that, that scene particularly is, is, is a special one for me because, and I think for, for everyone, because it's the first thing we shot uh, after having to break for COVID. So, it was very uh, intimidating in, in many ways because of what the scene is and because of, uh, of the circumstances. So I think there was all that, you know, tension that was there. So we didn't really need to, <laughs> to try to add anything really. Um, I, I, I would have to imagine that, you know, the, the, the close working relationship between uh, Elsa and Halston is is part of I think what fuels Elsa's own creativity and her own triumphs. What do you think it was about that relationship that do you think Halston made Elsa who she was or helped make her who she was? I think they both helped each other become who they were supposed to become. Uh, I think they were both essential in each other's um, growth and development as artists. You know, a muse is, as, is very important to, you know, as a, as a muse, Elsa was very important to 
Halston's uh, work. And, and he definitely, you know, she said that a lot uh, later on in her life that he taught her so much that he was, you know, one of the first people to really push her and really believe in her and, and obviously gave her incredible opportunities to, you know, design all the accessories and, and the jewelry, and then, you know, get to design the, the, the perfume bottle, which is, which was, you know, like this very successful um, thing that she, she did and that kind of launched her career with Tiffany's and all of that. So, yeah, I think they were both essential to each other's success in that sense. There, there's almost a part of me that, that wants to see like a sequel series <laughs> just called Elsa. Um, um, and, and, and especially with her, her, her death only just a few months ago. Yes. Um, did that, I know you didn't act ever, I don't think you actually met her. No. Um, but did, did you, with her passing, did you feel kind of a connection to her? Yeah, I mean, she, I say, I keep saying, you know, she kept me sane through this whole crazy past year that we had to live through and that we're still living through. Um, so I, I, I miss her <laughs> in a way that is very strange because I don't, obviously don't know her personally. And I would have loved to be able to meet her because of all the circumstances that wouldn't have been possible. Um, so yeah, I, I feel sad that I didn't get to meet her, but I think I'm, I'm, what I'm really happy and really proud of is uh, that I, through the series, I get to present, you know, or introduce her and her life and her work, even if it's a glimpse of it to people who maybe had never heard of her or people who, you know, knew her work, but didn't really know much about who she was. And I think it, you know, it's in that sense, it's a beautiful homage to somebody that I think is uh, an amazing role model for for young women or for anyone creative, really. Yeah, I think that is actually really important in that, you know, e even though this really is a show about Halston, it's also about kind of the powerful women that were successful in their own right and still were connected to him. Um, was that something that attracted you to the series initially? Um, yes, definitely, definitely. I mean, I was curious and getting to know about her made me even more curious about her life, her work and all of that. So that's always exciting getting, you know, going into a, a film or a, a TV show. And when you, you feel like this character is, you keep unpacking things and there's always things to, to find out about, about a character. It's obviously extremely exciting. The, I'm, I'm a sucker for, I'm a sucker for accents. I, it, it's just <laughs> a thing that I, that I'm fascinated by. Um, some people have a gift for them and some people, you know, work really hard at it. Um, as a, as a French woman with speaking with an Italian accent, I mean, what was that process like? I'm so fascinated by it. Um, yes, I was, I, well, I worked with different people. I worked with this, um, playwright who's a, who's also a director, who's a friend of Dan, the director called Marco Calvani, who's Italian. And he, we would run lines together a lot. Um, I also have, a, one of my best friends is, a, is an Italian, uh, fashion designer and she lives in New York. And so I would, I can't really ask because she gets, she gets really shy. So I would record <laughs> our conversations under the table and that or I would sometimes ask her you know can you send me a voice note saying this you know um and then you know watching obviously videos of of Elsa talking in interviews which are later on in her life and you know to get the mannerisms and the cadence and her voice and the, the, the rhythm of her speech um I think that was all it all essential to, to, to finding the, the accent. Did the, did you find, did you find yourself even after certain scenes, like hanging on to the accent? Did you, did it, <laughs> did, it did it linger? No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> uh, to the, to the great demise of my friends who were, who were trying to get me to, to talk to them with an Italian accent all the time. I was like, no, you'll see it in the show. <laughs> uh, 
doing it for you. <laughs> I, uh, you know, one of the things that, that I find so fascinating about just this genre of show, particularly focusing on fashion, is that you get to see things that I think the general public doesn't often get to see about fashion in terms of how it's assembled and how, you know, things are draped. And, and I'm curious, uh, how closely did you work with uh, Jeriana San Juan, the costume designer? I mean, um, really, really close. I mean, we, we, we did a lot of fittings and we, I was, Jeriana is amazing. I mean, obviously her work in, in this show is fantastic. And um, we kind of built looks together with a lot of obviously ins inspiration from photos and, and, and archives from Elsa, but um, yeah, it was, it was collaborative, but at the same time, Jerry and I really had a vision for what she wanted to do. And we worked together on that. And we, I think we had the same idea ultimately. So, so it was, it was really organic and easy to, to, to build Elsa's character in that in that sense has this has this experience like has it opened new doors for you in terms of the types of roles that you're looking at are you are you looking at roles differently having played this this person absolutely um um yes because i mean as, as i'm sure you know uh roles for women in, in, in films are not always that interesting. And when, when you get to, to, to play a role like this, you don't want to go back to playing, you know, the, the girlfriend or the, you know, that, that, that stuff. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going to be more um, uh, demanding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Elsa, I don't think Elsa would have it any other way. Um, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, this was such a passion project for your director, Dan Minahan. You know, this is something that he worked on for years trying to trying to bring uh, to the screen in some form or another. Um, so what was that working experience like? Was that passion evident uh, on set? Yes, it was. And it was very um, um, contagious. I think we were all very involved, you know, it's it w whether it was you know the the subject or the characters that we were all so passionate about but also you know telling this story specifically and being able to make something during this time that felt so uncertain and and difficult all of that definitely drove all of our passion and involvement up for sure it's also in many ways, you know, as dark as the series can be, there are also these moments of like incredible joy and incredible creativity of and reflecting the time period. You know, you get to follow these characters through through very, very uh, unique periods in American culture, not just in fashion, but just in general. Um, w was that was that as fun as it looked because <laughs> there are moments where you're just like oh my god it's like stepping into another world it was i mean not always but it was there was we definitely had a lot of fun you know granted it's you know filming the scenes at studio 54 with everyone we wearing masks and shields before we <laughs> we call action is, is always a bit strange um but we did have a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun because there was so much uh, complicity between all of us and so much, you know, yeah, definitely. It, it, it was as fun as it looked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does, do, do period pieces like this, do they appeal, do they appeal to you? Are there, do you find yourself, you know, wanting to learn more about any of these specific time periods? Yes, I think, I mean, I'm already someone who's very interested in, in diff, you know, in the past as in, in general. Um, and that particular time period for film and music and fashion, uh, I've always had a, a specific interest in. So that was obviously really exciting for me. And um, it felt like a you know, no brainer. I was already very involved in that. 
Um, if 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 you had had the opportunity to to talk to Elsa, um, um, what's something that you really would have wanted to ask her? Um, it's a tricky question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's something that I would have wanted to ask Elsa? I think. You know, I, I think all in all, I, I would have wanted to know if she was happy with with everything that she did. If you know, she if if at the end of the day, not compromising and going through all the things you go through for this goal that you may or may not achieve, um, was that you know, was that all that she wanted, and did she, did it make her happy? Mm. Well, somehow I think I think she would be very happy uh, with, you, so with, with, with and, and with your performance. Um, oh, thank you. Um, everybody, go to goldderby.com. Make your predictions for the Emmys, and stay tuned uh, for interviews with more Emmy contenders throughout the season. Uh, Rebecca Dion of of Halston, thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.